bell icon to be the first to see the latest video. Hello everyone, this is Anut Sethi and welcome back to another video by AMS Group of Institutes. Now, today's video is about valuation of the goodwill of a partnership firm. Now, generally there are five methods. In this video, we will cover only two methods. The rest we will cover in the videos which will come in the future. So, if you are new, please subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you will get a notification whenever we upload a new video. So, firstly, what is goodwill? Goodwill can be termed as the monetary value of the brand name of a business. For example, let's take Nike. The shoes which they manufacture, they will cost only say around 2000 rupees. But whenever you go to the showrooms and buy, it will cost you around 5000 or 6000 rupees. And yet, you don't mind paying that extra money. So why do you pay that extra money? It's because of the brand name or the goodwill of that company. So, in layman terms, how can we calculate goodwill? Simple, let's take an example. We purchased a partnership firm worth rupees 1 crores. Okay, and then we received the assets which amounted to around rupees 90 lakhs. We also took over some of the liabilities which was around 20 lakhs. So, in short, the amount of goods or the assets which we receive, the net assets will be only 70 lakhs. However, you paid 1 crore. So why did we pay the extra amount? It was because of the value of the goodwill of the firm, that is 30 lakh rupees. In our case, in the exams, you cannot calculate in such a manner. So you will be given various methods. So in this class, in this session, we will study two methods, the average profit method and the weighted average profit method. Now before starting these methods, I would like to tell you that you will be given some information like calculate the goodwill of the firm using three years purchase of the average profits or they will say using five years purchase of the weighted average profits. So whenever you hear these words that is three years purchase or five years purchase, there will be a number followed by the words years purchase. So that number is important. So how will you calculate the goodwill? Let's take the first example that is three years purchase of the average profits. So you will calculate the average profits whatever the average profits are you will multiply it by 3 and then you will get the goodwill in the second example that is the weighted average you will calculate the weighted average of the profits whatever the answer is you will multiply it by 5 and after multiplying it by 5 you will be able to get the answer of goodwill of the firm so let's take an example and study both of these methods firstly we will look at the formulas. Now what is the formula for average profits? It is simple. The total of the profits divided by the number of years. And what is the formula for weighted average? It is total of the products divided by the total of the weights. Now don't worry about the weighted average formula. You will study it in the further. So let's move on. We will take an example for average profits. In this question you are given the average profits of 5 years plus they have given you 3 year purchase of the average profits. So you have to calculate the goodwill. So firstly how will we start? We will start by totaling all the profits. So let's take our example. It is 2 lakhs, 3 lakhs, 4 lakhs, 3 lakhs and 3 lakhs. So let's do the total. 2 plus 3 lakhs that is 5 lakhs plus 4 lakhs that is 9. Plus another 3 lakhs it comes to 12 lakhs plus another 3 lakhs so that will be 15 lakhs so the total of the profits is 15 lakh rupees now we will take the number of years i request you not to add the numbers that is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 please don't do that the number of years is just 5 so as per our formula what will be the average profits it will be the total of profits divided by the number of years so let's take the example the average profit is total profit upon number of years so let's take the figures so the total profits were 15 lakhs which we calculated already so 15 lakhs divided by the number of years now what is the number of years in our case the number of years is 5 so the answer 
will come out to rupees 3 lakhs 15 lakhs divided by 5 the average profit is 3 lakh rupees so this is the average profit and not the goodwill mind you in order to calculate the goodwill we will have to multiply the average profit with the number of year purchase in our question the number of year purchase was 3 so the goodwill will come out to be 3 into the average profits that is 3 lakhs so this will come out to rupees 9 lakhs so guys this is how you will calculate the goodwill of a firm using the average profit method now we'll move on to the weighted average profit method it is similar to the average profits the only difference is that we assign weights to each and every year in the question during the exams the weights will be given to you if they are not given to you then you will have to assign these weights by yourself now how will you assign these weights it's simple the year which is closest to the present suppose we are in 2020 so the closest year is 2020 you might be given information about 2020 19 18 and 70 so the farther you go the lesser amount of weights you will provide so let's take the example here we have been given that we have to calculate the goodwill using five years purchase so whatever is the weighted average profit we will have to multiply it by five then we will get the goodwill of the firm so let's take the example we have been given five years 2016 17 18 19 and 20 and we have also been given the profits which we have earned that is three lakhs 2 lakhs, 5 lakhs, 2 lakhs and 6 lakhs. However, I have left out the weights. Why? So that we can assign the weights in this. If in the question the weights are already given, then do, please do use those weights. However, if they are not given, then we will assign the weights like we discussed. The closest year will be given the highest weight. So, the closest year is 2020. So, that will be given the highest weight. Now, what will be the highest weight? The highest weight will be the number of years. In this case, we have 5 years. So, the weight will be 5. And as we go further from the present, we will decrease the weights. So, 2019 will be given 4. 2018, 3. 17, we will give 2. And in 2016, we will give the weight 1. So now you have assigned the weights. So now we'll move forward towards calculating the product. Now what will be the product? Simply it will be the weights multiplied by the profits in that year. So let's move on. I've again drawn the whole table. Here we have the year, the profits, the weights and the products. And what are the products? It is the profits into the weights. So let's move forward. Year one, that's 2016. 3 lakhs into 1, it is 3 lakhs. 2017, 2 lakhs into 2, 4 lakhs. 2018, 5 lakhs into 3, it is 15 lakhs. 2019, 2 lakhs into 4, again it's 8 lakhs. And 2020, 6 lakhs into 5, now this is 30 lakhs. Mind it. So, we have taken out all the products. So, the next step is taking out the total of the products and the total of the weights because we require these two in our formula to calculate the weighted average. So let's take first the total of the weights. In this, you will have to add the weights. That is five plus four plus three plus two plus one. So this total will come out to 15. Now we will calculate the total of the products. That is three lakhs plus four lakhs plus 15 lakhs plus eight lakhs plus 30 lakhs. So let's calculate. 3 plus 4 is 7, 7 plus 8 is 15, 15 plus 15 is 30 and 30 plus 30 is 60. So, the total of the products comes out to 60 lakhs. So, now we have the total of the products and the total of the weights. So, we can calculate the weighted average. It will be 60 lakhs divided by 15. So, if you will calculate this, we will get the answer as 4 lakh rupees. So, 
the weighted average profit is 4 lakh rupees. Now, when we are calculating the goodwill, what have we learned? That we will multiply this, that is the weighted average with the number of years purchase. In this case, the number of years purchase was 5. So, the goodwill of the firm will be 5 years into the weighted average profits. That is 4 lakhs. So, the goodwill of the firm will come out to rupees 20 lakhs. So, guys, this is how you will calculate the goodwill of the firm using the weighted average profit method. Now, this is it for this video. If you found this video to be useful, then please subscribe, give it a thumbs up and share this link with your peers. If you want us to make another video on any other topic, then please use the comment section below. Please hit the subscribe button and the thumbs up plus press the bell icon to support your channel. And as always, happy learning.